Hey guys, what's going on? Brofessor here, and today, as you can see, we are here on Brick Set, and that is because I'm going to be doing this LEGO Star Wars Trivia Challenge. Uh, so recently, over this past week, as you can see, uh, it says the 7th of April is when this was like put onto Brick Set. Um, Captain Rex 101 here posted this cool little uh, LEGO Star Wars Trivia Challenge. I have not seen these questions yet, so I am going through this blind. Uh, I obviously am a pretty big LEGO Star Wars fan, but I was out of it for a little bit in, like, from 2010 up until, like, 2017, so this may be a little bit of a struggle, but I thought this would be a fun little thing to kind of do, and if you guys want to also try this yourselves, I will put a link to this in the description, and then let me know what your scores are in the comments section below, but without any further ado, uh, let's jump straight into this. And get on to the first question. So scroll down here. Okay. So let's see. The first, or not the first, the only character to appear in every in Star Wars sets during each of the last 20 years. So, I mean, if you think about it, this has got to be R2D2, right? Because like Obi Wan, Han Solo was was not in the first year, so I know he's out. I could see it being Luke Skywalker, kind of. But I don't know. I think I'm going to go with R2-D2 here. I mean, I feel like R2-D2 is just kind of like thrown into as many sets as possible. So we're definitely going to go with R2-D2 there. Okay, second question. Which of the following Ewoks has not appeared in the LEGO Star Wars set? Okay, now this one... Uh, I have no idea. Um, I know it's not Logre, because he was in like the Ewok Village set. That's the only one that I know it's not. Um, this one... I feel like this name sounds familiar, so I'm not going to pick that one. So we're between these two. And I honestly have no idea. So we're just going to take a shot in the dark and go with this one. Okay. When were stud shooters introduced in Lower Star Wars theme? Okay, yeah. So this is what I was talking about where I might struggle. Because obviously, if you were into Star Wars at this time, it's an easy question. But this is like the exact time that I was not into Star Wars. And then I kind of came back into it later. So I'm not entirely sure on this one. So um, I guess I'll go with 2014 because I, I honestly don't know. Okay, which member of the Ghost Crew did not appear in the first wave of sets based upon Star Wars Rebels? <clears throat> now this one I do know. This one's actually Sabine Wren. And I only know this because I have the set that Sabine finally did appear in. It's like the Ezra speeder bikes or whatever. I don't know. It has Ezra, Sabine. Uh, and like a speeder and then a stormtrooper in their speeder and for whatever reason that was the first uh, Lego Rebel or yeah Lego Star Wars Rebels set that Sabine appeared in because uh, she did not appear in the first wave all right let's see here which of the following Ultimate Collector Series sets not been seated by another previous model X-Wing has okay this one's easy there's only been one of uh, Vader's TIE Fighter all the other ones there have actually been only two of the Millennium Falcons, uh, I believe, two Snow Speeders, there may have been more, I know two off the top of my head, and X-Wings, I feel like there's a ton of uh, UCS X-Wings, there's one in 1999, there's like the Red 5 X-Wing, there's a ton of them, I know it's definitely Vader's TIE Fighter. Alright, let's see here. Which of the following Red Squadron pilots has not appeared in the Lower Star set? Okay, now this one, uh, let's see, don't know who that is, Wedge Antilles, definitely, he's been in a set, Jack Porkins also. Um, and then I have no idea who this last guy is. So, let's see here. So, once again, we're going to be relying on guessing here. I feel like, I mean, how do you not put Red Leader into a set? Like, who cares about Red 10 down there? Theron Net. I have no idea what this one is. Um, I don't know. We'll switch it up. Let's say they put it in, but didn't put Red Leader in. I don't know. For whatever reason, they're like, hey, Theron Net. I mean, this guy kind of sounds like he could have been in a Lego set. I have no idea, honestly. Uh, how many snow troopers are tasked with conquering Echo Base? Uh, Salt and Hot, that would be two. Well, who is the only female character to appear in the Lego Star Wars uh, 1999? That one is Padme because she appeared in the Moss Espa Pod Race set. So that one is also easy. How many years elapsed between the first and second Django Fent minifigures being produced? Okay, now this one. So the first Django Fent minifigure had to have been 2002 with the Slave 1. Uh, which I actually just recently did a video on in the top 10 best sets from 2002. Uh, so, first year was 2002, definitely didn't re definitely wasn't a new one in 2005, so not three years. 2009, 
I don't think so. So we're, I'm also going to eliminate 7. So we're down to 11 and 15. So it's either like 2017 or 2003. And I feel like 2017 is too long. Um, I know there was... I honestly don't know. I'm going to go with 11 though. I feel like there are some sets. I have the set Corporate Alliance Tank Droid that has a newer Jango Fett minifigure. And I have the newer Jango Fett minifigure, but I don't know what year that one was released in. But yeah, 15 years just seems too long. We're going to go with 11. Alright, let's see. Which of the following animals has appeared in a LEGO Star Wars set? Um, no idea. All of these sound like crazy names. We'll go with number two. That sounds like a Star Wars name. We'll go with that one. Of the 12 planet sets, how many actually include planets from Star Wars Universe? Uh, this one... So, off the top of my head, I know two that are not planets. You have the asteroid field, and then you have the Death Star. So, immediately, 12 and 11 are out. Um, I feel like there had to have been more than six. If only half of the, like, quote-unquote planet sets had actual planets, I feel like that would be very poor name. So we're going to go with 8. I feel like 6 is just too low, and I know it's not 11 and 12 because there's at least 2 that aren't. Alright, which character has wielded the lightsaber with the pearl, gold, warm, gold hilt? That's Darth Sidious. Uh, it actually came with a, like, kind of warm, warm gold hilt in the Darth Vader transformation set that I recently picked up. Uh, so that one's pretty easy. Which of the following bounty hunters appeared first in minifigure form? This one would be Zam Wessel. Appeared in the Bounty Hunter Pursuit set. I don't know what the exact name was, but came out with Attack of the Clones. I put that one in the top 10 list on that year as well. So that one, also pretty easy. Um, Embo, I believe he's come out as a minifigure. This guy was in the uh, Clone Wars. I'm pretty sure that's where he like debuted in. Um, I don't know if he's been in anything else. But I'm pretty sure he's been in a set, but that was like Clone Wars, so I don't know, 20, 2009, 2010. Uh, Dengar, the first time that I remember seeing him is in the 2006 Slave 1. He could have appeared earlier, I'm not sure, and then Bosk. Um, also not sure when he first appeared. Um, I know he was in the 2010 Slave 1, Bounty Hunter, uh, Battle Pack. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this one's Sam Wessel. Alright, let's hear under what unusual circumstances was this Death Star revealed? So this is the most up, like the most recent updated death star of like the ucs one so i know that's the death star that it is but i was kind of out of the loop at this point this was a little before i started getting back into lego star wars so this one i honestly have no idea um i don't think that images would have been published on amazon although that is something that happens a lot nowadays so could be that um i don't think it's this third one here images were accidentally published in a catalog that doesn't sound very unusual. Um, I also don't think it's this first one. I'm going to eliminate that one. Uh, we're going to say it appeared in the background during a designer video because I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Which of the following pairs of sets contain exactly the same number of pieces? Okay, this is a tough one. Let's see here. You have the two Millennium Falcons, Old Blockade Runner, Tanta 4, and then ATATs and Death Stars. So, Death Stars, it's not that one. Uh, but between these three, I have no clue. I mean, I feel like it's not the Rebel Blockade Runner in the Taint of Four, but this is a toughie. I don't know. This might be another one that we're going to have to guess on. I think I'm kind of between the Millennium Falcon and the at, -AT though. So I kind of narrowed it down. Not that either one of those is right. I don't know, but those are just the two gut feelings. Uh, I know it's not Death Star, and I don't feel good about the Taint of Four. So we're going to go with at, -AT. Let's see here. What color were the original Geonosian battle droids? Those were sand red. Those appeared in that uh, Geonosian like fighter set that I uh, recently just put in the top 10 as well. I really like the color of those battle droids. It was kind of like weird to see just because like nothing like that had ever been done. Uh, but yeah, that is definitely something that I liked uh, that was included in that. All right. So moving on to the next uh, uh, question, excuse me, next set. Which set was the first to include a vehicle from Star Wars Legends? Okay. So the TIE Crawler here is a like star wars legend set um the flash speeder is not so i can eliminate that one tiny defender i don't believe that one is either i'm pretty sure that's canon uh so tie crawler is tie fighter collection though i'm pretty sure i put that in the list that had the like droid tie that i was talking about so i'm pretty sure it's a tie fighter collection because tie fighter collection has darth vader's tie fighter the two other tie fighters and then that weird tie fighter with like the slanted a wings or whatever that i'm pretty sure never actually is like canon i guess you could say so i'm gonna go with that one because i know the tie crawler is legends 
but this came out in like, I don't know, 2008, 2007, sometime around then. Uh, this was, like I said, we're talking about recently in 2003, I believe. It might be 2004. I don't know. I just went over it though, so that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure it's 2004. But whatever. Next question. Uh, when was the first LEGO Star Wars Polybag released? Not 1999. No, it wasn't then. Uh, 2008, way too late. Because I knew there were uh, Polybags released for Revenge of the Sith. But I don't know. Because I know the mini sets were in 2002, but I don't know if they were in poly bags or some other form of packaging. Uh, but I'm going to go with 2002. I'm going to say they put them in poly bags. I know that there were some in 2005, so I know it's not 2008, and then I know there weren't any in, two, in 1999, excuse me, but I'm not entirely sure about that one, so we're going to go with 2002. Okay. Which seasonal character appeared in the original LEGO Stars advent calendar? I actually have this advent calendar. This is the only one I have, and it was the Santa Yoda. I'm really disappointed that they don't do this anymore, like, with the exclusive Santa minifigure. I think that was pretty much, like, the only draw to every LEGO Star Wars advent calendar, so, yeah. Uh, sell, like, those probably haven't been selling very well recently because they kind of got rid of the only selling point, so that's unfortunate. Um, how many B1 and OOM series battle droids would you own if you purchase one copy of each LEGO Star Wars set since 1999? Wow. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> I feel like there's, I feel like it's gotta be at least 129. There's no, there's no, it's only 62. I mean, I feel like with, there's at least three MTTs that have been released. And each one of those, I feel like contain at least like 15 battle droids. So like, that's like, I don't know, 45-ish. And I mean, there's so many other sets of battle packs, droid carrier. I don't know. I mean, I feel like, I don't think it's 95 either. I think it's got to be either 129 or 162. It's got to be one of those. Not, I don't know which, but it's got to be one of them. Uh, let's see. Here. We're going to go with 129. We're going to go like kind of like high middle. I don't, I mean, I could see it being 162. I don't know. I don't know. Tough decision. But we're going to stick with it. We're going to stay, excuse me, with 129. And now let me just make sure I went through uh, every question, click and answer. Uh, and then I'll give you my prediction on what I think I got. So I think I got, I don't know, maybe, I think I got at least a 14 out of 20. I feel like there were quite a few questions that I had no idea about, um, but I do think I did pretty good on this one. All right, so we're going to submit and I guess scroll up and we'll see what we got. Let's see here. Oh, wait, okay, view score. And, oh, okay, so we actually got a 16 out of 20. Okay, so I feel pretty good about that. So this first one was R2-D2. Uh, like I said, shows... Oh, so this is nice. It gives you, like, feedback. Okay, so Han Solo, yep, wasn't in 1999, so I knew I could eliminate him. Uh, Luke Skywalker, though, that was probably my second choice, and he was absent from two years. Interesting. So, the 2001, 2005, I've got to go look at, back and look at that, because that's really interesting to think about, that some of these, like, Keystone characters uh, haven't been released. And then Obi-Wan Kenobi even more years, 2000, 2001, 2003, 2006, and no sets with him in 2019 yet. Man, this is really interesting to, like, see, like, what, um, characters haven't been in sets recently. That's interesting. Uh, so the second one, which Ewok, I have no idea. So it was Wonka. Okay. So, Logre appeared in Ewok Village, like I said. Oh, and then I guess both of these other guys appeared in, um, Ewok Attack. So, I had no idea, but I get guessed on that one. Okay, so I did get the stud shooter one right. I was between 2014 and 2015. I felt like 2013 was a little too early. I don't know why, I just wasn't feeling it. And then by 2016, I knew they had already been introduced, so I knew it was somewhere in here. Uh, but January 20, 2014, very interesting, very interesting. This one, like I said, Sabine Wren didn't appear until the Ezra Speeder bike set. I actually have that one. That's why I knew that one. Um, all the other ones appeared in the first wave, 2014. This one also pretty easy. Which one wasn't um, another, or excuse me, which one has not been succeeded by an updated uh, one? The Vader's Tide Vance, I know has not. X-Wing here, the, like I said, Red 5 X-Wing, the two Snow Speeders, and then you have the two UCS Millennium Falcons. Okay, so this one's nice to see. We got the, like, uh, Red Squadron pilot question correct. So, like I said, I knew Wedge Antilles had, I knew Jack Porkins had, and then apparently Theron Net appeared in an X-Wing Starfighter. Who knew? I didn't. So, the guest on that one got it right. That's pretty cool. Uh, this one, yep, knew that one. That one had a two with that set. This one also, Padme Amidala introduced in the uh, 1999 Masa Padre set. Leia, 2000. 
in the Millennium Falcon, and I actually did not know that Mon Mothma was uh, introduced as a minifigure. And then that's also very interesting that uh, Shmi Skywalker hasn't appeared as a minifigure yet. Very, very interesting. So we got this one right as well with the Jango Fett, guessed right, with 11 over 15. So, I, like I said, Jango Fett's 2002. So the Corporate Alliance Tank Droid was the set that he appeared in. It was 2013. So I knew it. I did have the Corporate Alliance Tank Droid set that he appeared in, uh, but I had no idea what year it appeared in. I just figured it had to have been before 2017. I didn't even know if that was the right set to be thinking about, but I got that one right. I got this one right here wrong. Okay, I didn't really know this one. Let's see here. General Grievous Chase. Oh, so like that giant green thing that um, Obi-Wan rides on. Apparently it's called a Varactyl. Did not know that one. I feel like that's almost more movie knowledge than Lego Star Wars knowledge, but that's all right. All right, let's see here. So, of the 12 planet sets, yep, only eight. So, like I said, you have the, uh, let's see, where are the, so, TIE Interceptor is the Death Star. I knew that one. Uh, TIE Bomber and Asteroid Field, those were the two that I, um, I had originally thought of. Um, and then, oh, okay, so Endor and Yavin 4 are both moons. See, I never even thought about that, honestly. I mean, I didn't know that either one of those weren't, like, I wasn't really thinking about those. I just knew that these two weren't, but that's cool. Uh, Darth Sidious with the Golden Hilt. Knew that one. Zam Wessel um, with the, yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, see? I was right about Bosk, though. His first appearance in 2010 with the Slave One and then Embo. Actually, afterwards. I figured he was in, like, 2009, so that's interesting. Um, but, yeah, Dengar in 2006. So this one that was revealed, it was, let's see here, constructed in a Lego store in Maryland. Wow, that's actually really interesting. I did not know that one. I knew that this was um, one of the kind of less, well, very hyped sets, but kind of disappointing. But I didn't know how it was uh, released, so that's interesting. And then this one, very interesting to see. Got it right. Less, I'm kind of less impressed about that. Just the fact that, like, both these ATHs contain the same amount of pieces. That's very interesting there. Um, I knew this one with the battle droids, the color, sand red. Got that one. So it was the TIE Fighter collection with the, like, uh, TIE D Fighter, whatever, from Star Wars Legends. Okay, whatever. I don't know what that is. Um, and then the only set that was released before the Flash video. I knew that was in the Legends. Okay. First LEGO Star Wars Poly Bag was in 2002, and it was a mini set. Okay. I wasn't sure, so I don't know if all the mini sets were, but apparently this one mini set was, so we got that one right. And then this one, yep, Yoda in the original um, Lego Star Wars uh, advent calendar. I knew that one. And then this one is actually 162. Okay, so that's very interesting. So if you bought one of every set, you'd have 162 original battle droids. But yeah, guys, that'll be it for this video. Uh, I'm pretty happy with what I got, 16 out of 20. Uh, let me know if you decide to take this quiz yourself, and if you do, uh, let me know what you got in the comment section below. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for this video, and uh, if you did enjoy, don't forget to go down and smash that like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new. I'd love to see you guys uh, commenting on the video, and then yeah, that'll be all for this video. Uh, just actually, before I wrap it up, I would just, although no, I'm a small YouTuber, but hey, Brickset. If you're looking at this video, I'd love to see more Lego Star Wars, or just Lego in general, like these kind of trivia things. This is uh, very fun to do, and thank you to Cap'n Rex 101 uh, for putting this out on Brickset. But yeah, like I said, that'll be all for this video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace!